Good evening, collective. Good evening. Good evening. This reading is going to be for whomever is on your mind. Okay, we're going to have feminine energy on the left. We're going to have masculine energy on the right. Okay, I'm going to show you the cards so that you're able to see them a little better. All right. Like I said, let's start with some overall energy. Let's get some tarot. Let's get some tarot, guys. Got the Queen of Cups. Love is coming. Abundantly love. It is coming, guys. All right. Person on your mind. Person on your mind. What are they thinking? What do they want to say? Someone is stuck in the past. They're bored. They are growing up, growing up independence. All right. The Queen of Cups talks about being sensitive, intuitive, a healer, inspirational, and feminine. So it seems like this is the feminine energy. This is the overall masculine energy. Okay. Queen of Cups for feminine. Six of Cups for the masculine. All right. Let's get some messages, guys. Just a quick disclaimer. I do curse. I am a little loud. I'm sarcastic. Sometimes I sing. Sometimes I, when I'm channeling, I do shuffle a little bit longer. So just bear with me, guys. Let's get these messages out. Person on your mind is becoming self-aware. They are becoming self-aware of what's going on in the connection or what has happened in the connection. Tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. Absolutely, 222 on the timer. As I said, they are evaluating self, self-evaluation. Feed out what doesn't serve you, reevaluate the situation. All right, guys, as I said, I'm channeling a little bit. Universe wants you to be creative. Be creative, whether that's in a bedroom or just in your relationship as a total. Get creative, guys. Get creative. Angels are talking to you. 3.03 on the clock, on the timer. Ask your angels. Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. Absolutely. This is messages from the... Somebody is a twin flame out there. Put it in the comment section. It was 321 when I said it. A spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. This popped out. Somebody needs to apologize. Definitely needs to apologize. Forgiveness through mutual understanding. 345 on the timer. Forgiveness through mutual understanding. Okay. Bring balance and peace. Abundance is coming in. Abundance is coming in. However, pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. This is messages from the universe. Someone is obsessed with their person. Focusing too much on one situation, the need to take a step back. I heard focus, focus on self. Someone is obsessed with a, their person. Obsessions are not good. It's called healing. All due to self-limiting beliefs, okay? Negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. Not only in your regular life, but in your love life. And it was four, four, four on the timer when I read it. Confirmation, guys. I'm just a vessel. I'm just being used. Just know it's a past life connection that I'm speaking about. 
Just know, someone with heavy influence from a past life is with you. Either protecting you or you're in a relationship with them. Okay. Let's get these messages, guys. Feminine energy coming out. Messages in the best and the highest good. That one spit out. Yeah, I got some strong energy today. Strong energy, guys. Wow. All right. Someone wants to achieve the ultimate goal of happiness. New discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. All right, feminines. Five, five, five. That means change. Let me get these cards. These jumped out. Let's see how they go. Retreat. It's time to step back. Focus on oneself. Time spent alone reflecting on past and current situations. As I said, someone is focused on over, someone is definitely obsessed, definitely overthinking. It's time to rest, time to rest. Listen to your body mentally and physically unwind. Evaluate the situation. Feed out what doesn't serve you. Reevaluate the situation. Definitely evaluate the situation. Okay. Overcome the obstacles. Get back on your feet. Gain strength from difficult situations. Absolutely. This is where it's at. This is the timing. Moving on. That's what it is. <clears throat> 717 on the timer. It could be moving on from a twin flame. Endings that bring healthy beginnings. Healthy beginnings. Feminine energy. All feminine energy so far. Okay. Let's get some masculine energy out here. Let's see what they want to say. Let's see what the masculines want to say. I'm channeling, guys. Please bear with me as I channel these messages for you. Someone is in deep regret of how they treated you, feminines. If you're here, this message is meant for you. Only 5% of the current collective will even see this message okay so if you found this message this message also found you you were meant to see this definitely meant to see this message seeing you makes my day that's what the masculine wants to say they are happy when they see you okay they want to work it out they want to work it out Let's just get some masculine energy out here, guys. Let's see what comes out. Messages in the line is good. Someone's laugh is amazing. They talk about it. This message is definitely for you. Someone's laugh is amazing. That one popped out. Spirit said to read it. It's a message for someone. Very specific message for someone. They're scared. They want more, but they're scared. Overall message. Masculine energy. This is what the masculines want to say. They want more, but they're scared. That's those cups of love. 
cups mean love. Feminine energy is queen of cups. Masculine energy is nine of cups. So both still want love. And now the, the masculine energy is, I somehow trust you. I somehow trust you. I'm sorry, guys. I regret my behavior. I wish things were different. Seeing you makes my day. I want to man up and honor you. Finally, they knew it all along. They knew it all along. Okay. Let's get some feminine energy out here. Let's close this message out. What would you like to, what would the feminines like to say to their person? Feminines, what would you like to say to the person that's on your mind? Divine feminines to the divine masculines on their mind. Spirit is saying, take your power back. Universe says, take your power back. Okay. Let's get a few more messages, guys. Let's get a few more messages. Divine timing. Divine timing. And have faith. Have faith. That the timing is divine. Be patient while things are unfolding. This connection is worth the wait. When you're dealing with either a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection, you will feel that that divine timing. One, two, three, four is a twin flame number. And that was just on the timer. One, two, three, four. Okay? You're going to feel that strong connection. As I said, it could be a twin flame connection. Possible strong twin flame. Spirit is speaking to you through me. I'm just a vessel, guys. I'm just here to be used. I'm just presenting my gifts. However, say keep the door open. Not everyone is meant to be your partner just because they're your twin flame. Sometimes you are meant to elevate each other to their higher self. And that is what the purpose is. Even with the soulmate, sometimes you're there to help the person heal or love their shadow self. Spirit is speaking to you guys right now. The universe is giving you messages through me. I'm just a vessel, guys. I'm just a vessel. I'm just here to be used. All right? Someone needs to open up to love. Open up to love and be patient with themselves. Be patient with themselves and open up to love. Okay? These are messages from, from the universe. Like I said, it's very strong twin flame connection out there. Only maybe 2% to 5% of you are even going to see this message. So it's definitely possible to, to get this in a reading, a twin flame connection in a reading. Okay? Don't feel like it may not be true. Okay? Because you're trying to control it. It was 1414. You're trying to control things. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. All right, feminines. Let's get some energy. messages what would you like to what well, would the feminines like to say to their person what is 
on the feminine's mind. What would they like to say to their person? You got a lot to say, feminines. They told me only take the first five. Express your love. Somebody is in a third party situation. This was the bottom card. Pay attention to the red flags. Know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. Yes, please know the signs. This is not even a card of yours, but it popped up. This is a message from the universe to someone out there who is in a third party situation. If you're in a third party situation, spirit is telling you, pay attention to the red flags. It's unhealthy, very unhealthy. Other people may be, inter may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential, okay? Dimming its full potential. However, show gratitude. You need to be grateful for the love already presented in your life to attract more of it. Absolutely. You have to love oneself first. You have to love oneself first. Open yourself to love. Open yourself to love. This is how you will create new friendships and attract a new a love relationship. Express your love. Express it. It is important to let people know that you you love them. You have nothing to lose by doing so. Nothing. Nothing. Okay? Forgive and release. You are someone. You are stronger. Forgive and release. You are stronger when you care. When you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. Absolutely. That is feminine energy. This, that is what they want to say to their person. The person on your mind. Feminine, what you would like to say to the person on your mind. All right? Ultimate gift, this is the performance of a lifetime. True and lasting love is here for you. Absolutely. Beautiful energy, guys. Beautiful energy. All right. Let's take a look and see what the masculines would like to say. Let's take a look and see what the masculines would like to say. Take a look and see what the masculines would like to say. They're blocked. And because of it, they don't know who they are anymore. All right. Let's get some messages, guys. It's time to channel. Separation. I can't do this right now. Because they need to figure themselves out. Channel messages, guys. Channel messages. All right. All right. Let's get some messages. What would you like to say to the person that's on your mind? The messages and the lesson that is good. You were right. Their emotions overwhelm them. They want to know, why do you love them? They don't want to be treated the way that they do. They don't deserve it. 
However, somebody likes it rough because they still have a sexual desire regardless. The sexual desire is high, very high. You were too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. And finally, why do I deserve someone like you? Why do I deserve someone like you? Close the messages. Let's get a time frame for love. Let's get a time frame. Divine timing is in play. Spirit is speaking to someone. This is what's on the agenda. Don't lose hope, though. Don't lose hope, though. It's coming. Person who's on your mind, they are coming towards you. Let's see what else they're going to say. Be focused and stop waiting for it. Yep. Person that's on your mind, don't lose hope and focus and stop waiting for it. Overall, for the collective, July, two, one, three, four. Overall, July, for the collective. There is someone here who just got out of a third party situation. There is someone here who just got into a relationship and is cross-watching. The cross-watcher, things happen sooner. When you focus your energy on you, not on me. Focus your energy on yourself, not these readings. Internalize it, 22-22. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. All right. Final messages, guys. For those in the connection. Let go of it all for now. The person that's on your mind, let go of it all for now. One more. We'll get you more. Time is still unknown. Focus too much on the time. You're focused too much on the time. However, spirit said within a month, you will meet your person. They are coming back to you within a month. Okay? All right, guys. Those that not in a connection, July. Expect to receive love in July. And that will be the end of your messages, guys. I thank you for taking the time with me to allow me to read your energy. And please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. Please remember to follow me on all platforms at Diamond Divinity Tarot. Thank you for your time. You have a wonderful evening. And once again, stay blessed. Bye. Until next time.